You see no triangles whatsoever. All the faceting is gone. The detail is so exquisite that when the light shines on it, it looks perfectly smooth. All the shadows are soft. It seems like light is coming from all over. It's being lit. The scene is being lit in darkness. There isn't one particular light that's showing up somewhere, but light is bouncing all over the walls using this technology called global illumination, where everything in the scene is a light source. Everything in the scene is a light source, and it helps create the subtle mood that you see in these dark environments. Notice the volumetric fog that's starting to roll in. And just the texture quality is just so incredible. But, you know, this looks like a photograph. Andrew, why don't you take us around here? Sure thing, Jensen. Why don't you take us around and talk us about some of this? Okay, so this, uh, you mentioned before, Unreal 4. This is Unreal 4 running on Tegra K1. So this is a demo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Unreal Engine 4 running on Tegra K1. So this is a, a wonderful demo that Epic put together to show off some of the features of their engine. Um, as you mentioned, the, the art quality is, is second to none. Uh, the textures are amazing, and also uh, lots of little effects. Uh, as we go around, I'll point some of them out. Look at the water dripping off the wall. Yeah, up here. The lens flare. You look at the sun, high dynamic range. Look how bright the brights are and how dark the darks are. Okay, imagine a camera doing this. Really hard time with a camera doing this. Now it's computer graphics doing this. So as you mentioned before, this is trying to simulate exactly what uh, your eye sees. And indeed, uh, they have a feature called uh, pupil adaptation, where they calculate the luminance in the scene. And uh, just like you would uh, if you went from a, a bright environment into a dark environment, if you were outside and ran into a room, your pupil takes a little while to uh, sort of adapt to that. They built that into this engine as well. It gives wonderful effects. Uh, they've got lots of nice uh, reflective surfaces as well. So over here we have uh, like a mirror. Uh, we have tiles. Um, the trash can over here uh, is reflecting the rest of the, the room. Now that trash can obviously looks so real because it's somehow simulated in a physically, fi physically based ways. So that when light bounces off of it, you can almost feel the uh, steel that's, um, um, that it's made of. Absolutely, and you can see the water dripping down uh, in the back uh, there. And as we come along here, there's a, a more uh, sort of plastic uh, posters, uh, reflections again off the tiles. Uh, the quality of the textures is, is unbelievable. Um, this is real-time computer graphics, ladies and gentlemen, on a little mobile chip. Yeah, yeah it's tiny. <laughs> You mentioned uh, before bumpy shiny, you always have to have something shiny, so uh, this is a nice shiny pipe. Whereas everything else in the scene is, is quite rusty and somehow this has managed to stay shiny. Uh, the final feature I'll mention uh, just briefly, you see here there's a, a light um, sparky and uh, they do some very clever things with particle effects and they actually put physics on the particle effects so that the sparks then just fly through the wall and through all the objects in the scene. They actually bounce off the wall, and then you can see them uh, pulling. And they're actually lighting the environment. And they are lighting, yeah. So there's right. a light kicking out, and also the effects come down and then bounce around a little bit. Give a nice. So they all become light sources, and they cast shadows, and you can just see it. It's fantastic. It's just absolutely exquisite. Now, these little tiny details is what increases the production value of games. And we see this with movies today. There are so many things that they do, the attention to detail, that they obviously don't have to do. They obviously don't have to do. But they do it because they want to create something that is exquisite. And you can just tell now, the engine makes it possible for them to do that. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's take a look at a couple of things. Um, this is uh, another scene of the state of the art in mobile graphics today. And in fact, I think this is a game on iOS. Um, what we want to do is we want to show you um, you could just you could just tell this is a cartoon. It, it's lifeless. It's kind of dead. Uh, you, you recognize the objects, but for some reason it just doesn't tell you that it's alive. Now, what is the missing part that goes from this to reality? One of them, of course, is the way that the lighting behaves. We know that light doesn't work like this. That there are um, uh, 
just the subtle shadows and the reflections and the, and the way that, that light is, is occluded in the corners and um, you know those type of those type of effects our eyes are looking for and when we don't see it we know that it's not real and so let's um, let's take it to the to the next demo this is also running on Unreal Engine 4 and um, uh, here we'd like to show you a couple of things uh, this is not a photograph this is not a photo this is not a photograph we're in Vegas so this is Frank Sinatra music okay now you can almost feel this room coming alive now this what you're looking at is two very important technologies one of them is physically based rendering <laughs> Now, if that couch doesn't look soft, it almost looks like you could sit on it. I, I could almost imagine finding some quarters underneath it. Look how beautiful that is. The lighting of it is just incredibly exquisite. And then we're going to show you the second technology is global illumination. If you look at all the, the lighting around, everything is a light source. So light is bouncing around the environment and as a result, it's casting more than one shadow, and you're seeing soft shadows everywhere. And look at that wood floor. Wow. Does that look like wood floor? Unreal Engine 4, running on Tegra K1. That's fantastic. Good job, man. Okay, so now let's, let's take a look at all this stuff in a game. Okay, so this is an Unreal Engine game. Uh, this is, um, uh, this is uh, uh, trying to. This runs on a high-end PC today. It runs on a high-end game console today. And um, look, well, Andrew, you're the master of this game. Tell us about it. Hi, hello again. Uh, so this is by a company called Frozen Byte. Uh, it's, a, it's a custom game they've made. Uh, this is a first for mobile. Uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's like, kind of like a platform, a 2.5D, but the cool thing is you have uh, three characters. Uh, so you can have your warrior guy, you can switch to have a wizard, and he can... Like, uh, now remember, this is a mobile device that's been blown up to, this, to the size of a theater. Okay. Absolutely. This is a mobile device that's been blown up to the size of a theater. Look at the exquisite detail. Uh, so, uh, they've used the NVIDIA physics, actually, in this, so um, you interact and a lot of the puzzles are based on physics and you have to sort of uh, figure out different ways, and we'll see that just up here. So if I run inside now, past the, uh, the beautiful sort of uh, Egyptian statues. So here we have a, a puzzle. This one's uh, fairly straightforward and I have played it a couple times. So you can choose which character you want. So I can try and uh, reflect this beam. You know the way the lighting uh, follows the beam around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's hot. Yeah. So I think I'm actually going to use the wizard here, and I'm going to grab this uh, this box and hit the special key, and I should be able to open the door. There we go. Now while you do while he's doing that, look at how the lighting is changing the environment. Everything's all lit so beautifully. Yeah, it's, it's all dynamic lighting. It's a beautiful game. The artwork in this is, is just exquisite. Ow. Now please hurry, please hurry. Please. Oh, hang on. Don't, but don't die, don't die. Okay. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. <laughs> now all of this, all of this behavior is happening with physics simulation, so you could, you could just see how heavy that rock was. You could feel it. So now we're down in a crib. Please, please. Uh -oh. take your fancy to it. Some kind of goblin goblin. Here be. comes a bad guy. And there we go. Okay, fantastic. Good job. Okay. So, Tegra K1, Unreal Engine 4, next generation graphics on a mobile device for the very first time. Next generation.